just show you guys that some of my no, oh, it's not working. Oh, um, that some of my um cosmos. Let's see if I can go in this way. Have started to get their fourth, their third and fourth leaves. So when they popped up originally, they had two leaves, and you can see that some of them now have multiple leaves. They have two additional leaves that look different than the initial. And then you can see a couple of zinnias. Those are all zinnias. And then a couple cosmos mixed in. We go back here. <clears throat> Again, you have zinnias and an overabundant sprinkling <laughs> right in this area. I may have to thin this out, I'm sure. I don't know, we'll see. I, I don't know if you have to, most people don't really thin out Cosmos, they get big and tall, and some probably make it and some won't. And then I also did back here see that some of the sunflowers, there's one, there's one right, let's see if I get the, right there. So those are sunflowers back there coming up. So overall, the garden is blooming see what happens with it. It's still very light in the middle. Um, more, there's more like zinnias and like butterfly mixed stuff in the middle here. So we'll see what happens there. But I might have to add additional seed down here. Um, it's early morning right now and we have a little bit of like dew that so these are still wet over here. It's in 95 degrees today though so I am going to give them some water and then that'll dry out throughout the day. Okay, friends, I am going to take my old uh, warmer and I just, when you turn it on, you can actually just put um, paper towels in there until it gets um, like liquid. And our stuff, this is hotter than ours. I'm going to get rid of this and actually donate it because um, it's still pretty. It still works and everything, but I'm going to clean it out. The um, It gets the wax too hot and therefore it's A, it's like burning and B, it doesn't... Um, because it, it, it wears out the scent too quickly. I am going to switch over to this one here, which is a beautiful sort of ceramic with little pinholes throughout it. Um, I took it out of the box. I don't have the box with me, so I don't know how much, what the name of this one is. And then I've got my bulb to put in, and then of course, the, um, the little thing on top. And we're gonna put in today, aloe water and cucumber this is a beautiful fresh scent so it smells really really good if you like fresh scents i just put the top two cubes in the um one in my other room the, the warmer of the month this one says uh this one doesn't say so some of them like on the bottom they'll tell you like how many cubes you can put in here i know you can't put more than four but i'm only going to put two in for the bathroom i don't need more than that so i'm going to finish cleaning this up i just wanted to show you how to get it out so if you are using warmers that are not made from scentsy um they don't they you can then they still work just fine but you might go through more wax than you would like to because they get the wax too hot where our warmers are only going to this wax is very soft it's softer than um it's softer than other wax and the softer the wax the more oils that you can put in here to scent it so um, you don't need a lot. Our wax is heated just warmer than room temperature and you can actually stick your finger in our wax when it's fully, um, in fact, I'll show you. So I have this little guy up here, this Chews Happy. You can literally stick your finger in here and it does not burn your skin at all. Something is, we're having a little bug problem over there. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I gotta look at that. I don't know if they're coming from the outlet or where, or the window. Um, also, these are leftover flowers from Enjoy Flowers. Most of the flowers had died. They're over two weeks old, and I just so I just put them in a little vase in here to brighten the space up a little bit. We're gonna put this pretty warmer on, and I'll show you in just a second. All right, I have a little bit of like maybe spilled wax or dirt back here, so I am going to just use our bathroom cleaner in Go Go Mango. I'm not one who likes to clean, guys, but this stuff smells amazing. It kind of makes you 
want to clean a little bit more. Um, so we're just gonna clean this up and we're gonna get this, this going. And this comes in a variety of scents. Johnny Appleseed is one I have coming. Um, I think I have sea salt avocado. I don't know, I've got a bunch of them. Blue Grotto, there's a whole bunch of scents in this. This smells so good. And there she is. Um, with the, Again, this is aloe water and cucumber in case anybody wants to try that. I'll have these linked below. I'm probably going to move this one up into one of the bathrooms upstairs eventually once my Tinkerbell one comes in. I think I'm going to put my Tinkerbell, I don't know, my Tinkerbell one actually would match better in my bedroom upstairs or my bathroom upstairs because it's like a pale blue and that's sort of blue and purple. So maybe I'll put that up there and leave this one down here. This is a kind of a classy one. Let me turn the light off. Uh, isn't it pretty? It got extra shiny when I put the turn the light off. So beautiful, guys. Ah, uh, I love it. So we'll see how the scent goes. This is the first time that I'm melting the scent. So we'll see what it goes, uh, how it goes, and I'll let you know. Good morning, friends. Um, I am getting a late start. It's already noon on Saturday because yesterday we had the worst storms in the middle of the night. It was like 1, 1.30. And it was like the thunder and lightning literally just stayed over the top of our house and in our front yard. It felt like the, that the lightning was getting our trees. I got all panicky. It was, it like shook the house. Even my son came down. He said, man, that was some storm last night. It wouldn't leave. And apparently it was in other parts too, but it just really felt like it was over our little piece of the world. So I came downstairs this morning and then I fell back asleep down here for a little bit. I wanted to show you these cool earrings that I just tangled up. Um, that came in from Rocks Box. I'm going to show you my other pieces. I think it's time I put my Rocks Box stuff on. What did, it, what did I do to it? I think I got it all tangled here. WTF. All right, so look at these. These I think these are from Aster. And they've got like this black um, obsidian and a white pearl. And they're like a dangle. They're so fun. I really like them. So I'm going to put those in. I want to show you guys a couple of things that came in. And then later we'll go take a look at how the garden's coming. I did get a couple more items to, uh, flowers to put in the garden, which I'll show you, which I haven't planted yet. Um, and they're clearly thoroughly watered now. So <clears throat> for anybody that's new, uh, Rocks Box is $21 a month and you get that in credit. Like you can, but it's only good for that month. The cr that credit is only good for the month. So there they are. So, so beautiful. They're really pretty, and I love that they're long, and they're still, like, really lightweight. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Is that better? So pretty. So, so pretty. Those are so cute. So, um, it's 21 bucks a month, and you can apply that. I'm probably going to apply it to these earrings. I really like these earrings, but there's a couple other things in here that I like as well. You get three pieces of jewelry. They do have somebody, like, style you. Okay, those ones just came in the Rocks box box. And I've got some dusk pieces. What's this one? I think I have to, oh, this is pretty too. I have to take my necklace off. I have a little necklace on from Rocks Box right now, actually. I really like that one. I don't know that I'm wearing this all day. I have just a t-shirt and shorts on, but I have two videos to do for you guys, a Ever Eve and a Stitch Fix. So, oh, this is so pretty. So pretty, okay. You guys see that's got a pretty opal and then little crystals, like a little layered piece. That's so beautiful for the summer. Really, really pretty. Oh, I like that one. Let me come in close so you can see how gorgeous it is. This box is actually gonna be really hard for me to pick what I would like to keep because I truly like everything. You can help them buy, um, pick things for you. And I think I did, I think I switched out a couple things. And then I got another Dusk piece. Dusk has really nice pieces with like genuine stones. This one is a little ring. I'll have my link below. If you guys wanna sign up, you get your first month's free and you get um, $25 or $20. You get $21, you get your first box set free, but you also get $21 credit, even though you didn't spend the $21. Ooh, this is pretty too. This is like a very light, lightweight ring with like all different types of stones in it like moonstone and there's like a green and a blue i don't they're all semi-precious i don't know smoky quartz maybe i'm not sure what all those are so oh so pretty so pretty so those are my three items i'll tell you see if i have 
anything in here. I can tell you what they cost, maybe. Doesn't look like my little, I have this. This is to mail it back, anything I don't wanna keep. I don't see the price sheets in here, guys, so. Well, if I remember, I'll put the prices of the items which are on my app or on my, um, you can check that out on the website. I'll um, put the prices of everything on the screen because I really like everything that came in this little box. So it comes in a box like this, just in case you're new around here. All right, um, for our garden today, I this came in. So there's an area of my garden that's kind of like, doesn't have enough flowers in it in the back of the cutting garden. This is a Zinnia mix. It's an all-in-one formula. It has mulch, fertilizer, and seed. Um, you sprinkle it, water it, and it grows. I waited. This took a little while to come in, but it's completely okay to like put additional seeds down after the other seeds in the garden have started blooming. It just means we'll have flowers at different times. Um, this has little crystals in it, and so it says the crystals... Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so it says the sparkles will appear when it's been watered enough and the sparkles disappear when it's time to water again. So it's kind of like a foolproof. This was kind of pricey if I remember correctly. I don't think it was super cheap. And I have no idea how many, it says it covers 200 square feet of seed. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I also had one more candle that came in but it didn't come in when my other candles did when i was doing the support small business i ordered a bunch of like crystal type candles i think i have two more coming too from amazon had some but these were all on etsy this is the love spell candle this is the cutest now this was the most expensive candle i got it was like a 30 dollars candle so but look at the top of it it's got rosebuds you've got amethyst and you've got uh quartz and it has lavender in it. And then this is the the um, Love Spell in a Jar candle. You take this out, obviously, before you burn the candle. I'm probably going to start this today. It smells so good. It's the perfect mix of lavender and rose. Um, it says, love, romance, attraction. So soy wax, lavender herb, demonia herb. I don't know what that is. Rosebud herb, eucalyptus. That's the other smell amethyst stone rose quartz and clear crystal quartz and it contains a love spell jar so these are candles with intentions is the name of the um owner of this etsy shop so if you guys want to check her out this particular candle while expensive soy burns very slowly so um it should last me some time and this also smells amazing and had a tremendous amount of really good reviews about this candle and it came packaged really well. I was all, overall very happy with, with that purchase. Um, I'm gonna show you part of this next thing and then I'll show you the rest outside. So I um, watch Kinky Sweat a lot. I really like her channel. I love how she does all her eye looks and everything. And she gets um, nail polish from this company here called Live Love Polish. So I thought I'd order two. I did order a couple more. They threw in a crystal um, nail file which is really cool and they threw in a magnet and I'm so excited about this wait till you see my toes I did my toes because I didn't know how to do it and so I thought well I'm gonna try it with my toes first and then if it works I'll do you know my fingernails as they grow out my fingernails are not growing real well so um, in fact they just keep breaking no matter what I do I'm taking um, vitamins for hair skin and nails and I have a like collagen drink that's supposed to help your skin hair and nails Nothing's working. But anyway, this color is Artemis, and I really love it. So you can see it it pulls purple and teal. I'll show you on the back. And then the magnet, you take the magnet, you put the magnet on, and it draws the color. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to, maybe if I use a small one, if you're going to be able to see it. It kind of moves it. So when you do this on your, um, on your toes, it gives you a beautiful oil spill like look, but then you have like a cat side that moves with the light. So pretty. I just keep looking at my toes. It's so beautiful. And then I picked up another color that from this, this is the Illamite collection. Um, and this is, um, hold on. this is more of a glitter type formula. This is the color Avignon. And this is also such a beautiful color and it kind of has the yellow and the orange so when you when you put it on it kind of shifts from yellow to orange 
and I just thought that was also really a pretty kind of reddish yellow orange sunsetty kind of a shade so we're gonna play with that uh, but I'll show you when we get outside what my toes look like I'm not one to show my toes I don't have the best looking feet but I'm gonna show you anyway um, but I was really excited about this. I don't know. I'll link this down below for you guys, too. Actually, I'll link everything I'm showing. So I'll link the candle company from Etsy. I'll link the Zinnia mix with the crystals so you know when to water it. I'll link this, and I will link rocks box for you. I also just put a new warmer in the bathroom, which I'll run a little clip after this and show you my new warmer that's up. And uh, we'll go take a look together at the how the garden coming along in just a few minutes. Hey guys, oh, I had a bad day today. Um, yeah, just been down. I thought it was because I didn't sleep last night because of the thunderstorms, which they did keep me up all night. But I have had no energy, just complete exhaustion and fatigue all day. I wanted to be able to film, um, you know, three videos today for the upcoming week for you guys. I got zero done. I literally hardly could get off the couch. I did make it over for a few minutes with my daughter to Lowe's and I picked up a beautiful hydrating gel. I'll show you guys that. And I forgot to show you my cute toenails. Don't judge my feet. Let me show you. Well, maybe. Okay. Look, I don't know if you can see it. It looks like my thing's fuzzy, but can you guys kind of see how the, if I move my foot, there's like a, a cat eye. Hold on, I'm gonna clean my screen. Okay, I think that's better. Let's zoom in on feet. I hate showing people feet, but look, it's got like a, both of them. They've got like a little like, this one's better. Um, my big toe, I can't have my finger. That one's better, the first one. Um, but like when you move them, they kind of just show pretty and oh man, I need some lotion on them, but they, um, they're so pretty. So that is from that Live Love Polish. Totally, totally love that. Um, that was my first time trying it, so I have to, I'll get better with the magnet as soon as I do it. And then I came home from Lowe's and I'm so mad. One of the packages that I bought, I bought those like these glass feeder things. I'll show you. There were two, two to a pack. Um, so for my hanging plants, that's what I bought them for. And Here's one because um, you fill them with water and you just stake them in here and they're beautiful blown glass um, so that when I'm not home, it will still water. Well, the bucket just completely, or the box it was in, I picked it up and it crashed the ground and one of, they both fell out. That one didn't break. The other one completely shattered in a million pieces. Really, really bummed out about it. And, um, but let me show you, I don't know if they'll take if I call them at the receipt, if they'll replace it. So I think I'm gonna carve out this little area right here because this bush will get huge. And it's a beautiful, beautiful hydrangea. And this is a, an interesting one. Right now it's pink, but I don't know what our soil is, so it may change. And this one's coming in with like the pink and the white. And then this one, it's got a little bit of like in here, a little bit of like the blue in here. So, it's a good little, um, a good little starter hydrangea, and it'll kind of just sort of flank this this area. So I'm gonna put some soil and and make a nice little home for it there. I also think where my bird feeder is out there, I'm going to get a um, a feeder for the um, like a a pretty bird bath for the babies. And I still they're they're feeding now, and I still didn't get any um, new bird seed put in there for them. I really need to do that. I just have had absolutely no energy. So anyway, if you guys uh, don't see as many videos, that's why. I'm gonna, hopefully I'm feeling better tomorrow and I'll get as many up as I can. Um, and plus Robert's in like a super bad mood. He just had his phone got disabled while he was working. It was in his pocket and he's fighting He's fighting with Apple on the phone or iPhone or whoever, whoever you deal with. They're basically telling him he has to go to iTunes to reset the password and that he will lose all of his pictures and information. And he uses his phone, he's a contractor and he uses it for work. And he's got all the pictures of the work he's completed for the homeowners. And so it's a really big deal. It's like his whole life's work is on that phone. It's, sorry about the car. So it's a big deal if he loses everything. So he's talking to a supervisor and he's in a really cranky mood. So 
Ugh, so I just kind of came out here because I just, I don't want to listen to any more crankiness, you know? I just don't want any more. That's not his fault. That would so upset me too if I lost everything. But I don't have my whole life's work on my phone like he does. And he's not technology savvy, so it's not like he even knows how to use a computer. He doesn't even know what his iTunes password is. He's never used it. So, anywho, um, you'll at least get a vlog from me this week because it's not hard for me to do this. He's actually cooking us some steaks. I think we're having um, some corn on the cob and some steaks for dinner, which is really nice. And now the, the sun's went down here a little, so it's still really muggy and, like, humid out here, but it's not, like before you walked outside, like literally sweat drenching you. Like I put my, my hair is so freaking heavy. And I also think that my, um, I actually think my hair is thinning a little bit as much as this, all this hair that I have, but, um, my thyroid's been acting up really, really bad. And so today I took a bunch of pot potassium, vitamin D and vitamin B. And after I took all those vitamins, I did feel better. I'm going to make sure that's the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up because I needed it, obviously. So anyway, I'll check back in with you guys later and, uh, we'll talk soon. Um, uh, hopefully I'll relax out here a little bit, have a good meal and be able to enjoy the evening. I'll see you later. All right, guys, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see these. So my roses are three different colors. So we have, I'm going to zoom in. So we have, that's the color they were when Mackenzie gave me them, a beautiful pale, pale um, yellow. And then we have these ones down here, which are a little bit more of a darker, richer yellow, but you can see those are coming in with some pink. Well, then over here, these guys bloomed and they're pulling very pink like almost like a coral orange. They're absolutely stunning. Look, there we are. They're abs uh, this is the best kind of view I could get of them. They're very, very beautiful. And where's the other one? Look at that. So, I mean, you can kind of see the difference in the colors here. They're all on the same plant, so I'm not sure. The only thing I can think is that maybe down in here, so it's mixing with some of the the dark pink down here maybe it's propagating with that and kind of creating a little bit of a new color story so if you go back like this far this is a climbing rose all one plant i've got the dark yellow the pale yellow and then this like orangey yellow coral color coming in it's so beautiful i'm really excited i want to look at that one. Oh god i want to get to the top these are too high for me to like get the picture the way that i want to of them and just look at this little sweet baby here. Ah, oh, stunning. And we've got all different types coming in here too. Like it's all just reblooming. This is the knockout roses are so easy to care for if you're looking for a, a good rose that you're gonna get blooms all summer. And of course, on the whole other side, I've got loads and loads of pink blooms. All right, we're gonna go check on our little garden. There's Chop Chop. You know what I've been saying? Because I'm a dork, I've been going, Pop, 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 it's a chopper. Pop, 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 it's a chopper. Right? And there's the other man. So I put, this is where all the mole activity is right here. I put this whole bag of Zinnia Mix down. Um, these have not bloomed yet. This is the stuff that I got from, I think Amazon. It came with the crystals. You guys are going to see it over here. Um, so let's take a look. They're getting tall. They're getting really tall. And all that green stuff is like, I don't know, fertilizer and seeds. So this area will fill in a little bit more. But look at this area. Whoa. And along the back, not the weeds. Don't look at those. But there, I don't even know if you can see them because they're mixing with so much. But there is a line back there of, um, yeah, you can't really tell. I know where they are. But there's, um, here's the best way, right? Like right there, those are some sunflowers. What are you doing? Oh, he's fussing. So, <laughs> here are the dogs. Here's, here's all the little seedlings. Oh, <laughs> nature almost just jumped on me. What are you two doing? Being aggressive? <laughs> what are you doing, buddies? Go say hi to your friends. Say hi to your friends. 
Yeah, that gate's up there for you. That's up there for you. They aggravate each other out here. All right, and so I also have that like weird, um, I don't know if it's a watermelon. Let me show you. This plant is some sort of a melon. It said it's cucumber. Like, where's my finger? Can you? That is supposed to be some sort of a melon plant. And there's actually a couple more in here. So all of these bigger leaves are gonna be zinnias. And then these like fluffy airy things, these are all cosmos. I can, there, there, there's another one right there. That is a melon, some sort of a melon plant. I don't really know what that is, but these guys are growing so big. I'm like, I can't believe how big they've gotten since I started planting. They're growing like little weeds already. I just had to show you my cosmos are purple. I didn't know what color I had because I think I used to have like a coral color. Aren't they pretty? Look, at, they're just beginning to open. And these, um, these plants were just one and then they opened into three. So I still haven't planted that guy back there. I still got to plant him, but the sunflowers are getting a lot bigger. Um, I did plant the lantana, which opened up and it's beautiful. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Ugh, so pretty. And then we're starting to get more buds again there. And we have our big bud there on our dahlia that's getting ready to bloom. So I got my phlox I still need to plant. Everything else is looking really good. I cut some of the lilies the other day from the other side of the garden. Um, these are all seeds that I have in the backyard too. These are all... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, zinnias as well that I planted from seed, and they're doing very, very good. There's some little baby ones popping up here that must have got planted at a later date. So I can't wait. I'm hoping this would be a border. I don't know, though, if these are like the small zinnias that come up that would make a border hedge, or if they're really tall. If they're tall, we're going to have an issue. <laughs> so, but yeah, the gar little garden areas right here is filling in. Little flowers are filling in really nicely. She thinks she sees something. She's got her fur up. What are you doing? What are you doing? She sits here for literally for hours every single day. I thought I'd come in and show you this little garden rock. I'm not done with it. There's no detail on it. It's just sort of been painted in. But it is going to be going in the garden. It's just a little painted rock, a little sunflower one. And we're almost finished with it, but not quite. Okay, it's in a little bit more detail here. I'm not finished with it yet. It A, needs a little bit more of the brown and stuff in the middle, but I ran out. So I'm gonna have to buy more paint. And then, cause I was using kind of like leftover paint and then it needs a good sealant and coating. And then this baby is ready to go sit in the garden and be pretty and bring joy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in my garden or if I'm going to surprise somebody and leave it in theirs. So um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Good morning, friends. I am going to end this vlog here. It is Friday morning. I'll start another one either later today or tomorrow. Um, so as you guys know, if you watch or you're a part of our community page on Facebook, I took a fall. I fell down the stairs. I mean, I really fell down the stairs on my back. My whole spine and hips are bruised up. I re-sprained my ankle that was starting to heal. I took off of work yesterday. I was just in so much pain. I'm feeling a bit better today. Um, so... I'm gonna end it here. Um, I'll give you a final look here at the uh, front garden and how it's come along since you guys have seen it last. And um, we still haven't planted our hydrangea bush. Hopefully Robert's gonna do that today. I have a meeting here in just a couple of minutes, um, a Zoom meeting. I have more bra. I don't even have bra on today because my back hurts so much that I was just like, no, no, <laughs> not wearing it. So let me show you um, the garden and we'll end it here and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Thank mm -hmm. you.